Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to do a bit of cryptocurrency mining on the chip and obviously what we're going to be using is the pocket chip so I've set this up on my chip first but for the pocket chip we're going to want to go to the terminal if you have a mouse and keyboard plugged in like me then you may be able to go to the terminal as I've recently flashed this I'm just going to have to tap on terminal now we're going to be mining something called Magicoin and this is not something that I know huge amounts about uh, I'm not entirely sure whether uh, my mining rates are any good and whether this is actually profitable at all so for those that go into this thinking this may be profitable you may not want to because it possibly isn't but it is however let's zoom in a little bit a bit of fun so we're going to want to use um, kudos to this guy on YouTube. Uh, what's his name? Dethulwol. Dethulwol. Yeah, sounds something like that. That's his name. And basically, he's compiled a little easier way of doing this for us. So he's he's, he's put out some instructions here. So you're going to want to obviously install JIT if you haven't already, um, just in case. But we should be able to do it this way, in which case we will not need JIT at all. So what we want to do is CD out to the main, but we're already there because we've just booted up the pocket chip. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit and get that a bit clearer for you guys. Hopefully I can. Leave it a bit closer maybe. It's just because of the lighting in here. And we're going to want to type in wget and then www T-H-E-L-W-A-L-L dot O-R-G forward slash Nova Spirit N-O-V-A-S-P-I-R-I-T and then underscore and then installer now if you're like me and you've just realized you haven't done a pseudo app to get update this may not even go ahead but we can still see if it does. So once we've done that, we can then press enter. And it should do something like the following. Once we've done that, we can type in chmod plus and then x and then space then dot forward slash nova spirit and then underscore and then launcher uh, launcher installer I did this earlier and once we've done that we can simply press enter and it'll look like it hasn't done anything but actually it has then we press dot forward slash nova spirit underscore installer and then we just press enter and it'll say select the type of system you want to install now we don't have a Raspberry Pi 1, 2 or a B plus 0 etc a single core Raspberry Pi so we're going to click D which is any other platform and then press enter now this will work its way through and it will install and download some stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to come back to that in a moment whilst that's installing what we're going to want to do is go to Magi uh, we're going to go to Google and type in Magi Wallet and if we scroll down we'll see Mcore um, and we're going to click on there and what you want to do is not click on Windows Installer because it takes you to an empty space We'll click on the Windows zip file and download that to your laptop. Once that file is downloaded to your laptop, you're going to want to unzip it to the desktop and you want to click on um, on the Magic Wallet itself and it will open up and it, if you're on Windows 10 specifically, many antiviruses flag it as a virus, you're going to want to allow it and log into it and it will start downloading what is known as a blockchain. This could take up to four days but we can actually skip that and I'll show you in a second.
So if we go to this address at the top of the screen here, coinmagic.org forward slash bin forward slash blockchain, there you can actually download a zip file uh, with the latest blockchain or at least with a partially full blockchain which will make it quicker for you to sync your wallet. Once your wallet is synced, you're going to want to basically go um, to, to get the blockchain into the wallet before it's synced you're going to want to go into app data on your PC and in your app data you will find a Magi wallet folder and in there you can basically paste your blockchain um, folders which you've copied from that zip file on that web address I would show you but my PC is upstairs right now but once that's done you can restart the Magicoin program on your Windows 10 PC and start syncing away and once that's synced in fact, before that syncs, you can get underway with some other stuff. So before you actually get on to running this on your pocket chip or chip, you're going to want to find a mining pool. Now, Magicoin is CPU only, and there's only a few mining pools around, but one I use is called pom.mhash.com, and uh, in here you sign up for your profile on the top right of the screen, if you click and you click sign up, you can actually sign up to an account. Your screen would look something like this. Just put in your details and a memorable pin and you sign up for an account. It will then send you an email which you must activate. Once that's activated, you need to log in and as you can see, I already have a chip, one of my chips upstairs up and running on this. You can log in and on the left hand side of the screen there will be an option to say my account. Now if you click on my account you can go to uh, my workers and you can create a worker down here. Now um, as you can see I've already created one and my login is pilot and my worker password is X. Now if you were to put this in on yours you would essentially be mining for me which is why I can show it. But that's basically my mining um, or miner and once that is set up then we can use that on the pocket chip. So back over to the pocket chip which has now finished downloading what we need to do. And what we actually need to do now is go into the folder that the miner is in. So to do that we should be able to simply type in um, CD and then the folder which is CPU miner and then we should be able to press enter and it should take us into that folder and then if we go to um, CD again and then M I think it's dash CPU miner okay maybe it's not could be a dot not a comma one second guys I missed some out so it's M dash CPU miner uh, dash version and I think it's 23, but if it's not, then it's 28. In these situations, if you're always unsure, you can just back out of the terminal. Go into your browse files. And then in here, you'll see the folder, which is what we're trying to get, in, which we've got into. And we'll see that it's m cpu version 2. So. Essentially now what we should be able to do is if the terminal hadn't froze, which it has, but if we press control quit, we should be able to get back onto that terminal. Ah, there we go. So we're back in and I was wrong with all of them, it's just the version two. So once we're in here, we can then type in our uh, command to start the mining. Now you will need the username and password from your worker login page 
and you will also need your username that you set for your main account which would be on the top right here as you can see there's mine once that's sorted you can then input a command and get this going so let's get this going so the command would be dot forward slash and then it's m dash minor and then d and then it's a space minus and then it's an o lowercase then space then it's s t r a t u m then a plus sign tcp then a shift then it's a semicolon and then it's forward slash forward slash as you would with a web address now this does depend on your actual mining pool but if you've used the one that I've used it will be the same as this so it's forward slash forward slash mining dot m hash ah, mining dot m dot hash dot com and then it's a shift and then a semicolon and then it will be the port 3334 then a space then it's minus u then a space now this is your username as you can see and then dot pilot which is the name of your worker so it's your username then dot then the name of your worker so if your worker is not pilot like mine was and you put it as one two or three you can do uh, you just have to put that in there where pilot is now then it's a space and then it's minus p this is not the password for your actual account this is just the password for your worker and you can set that as anything I set mine as x now if we press enter we should essentially get there but if we haven't then it's because I've typed something wrong and I have typed it wrong I've noticed I put a dot where there should be a dash and also I have missed out a H which is supposed to be here and we press enter and it will request to start work. Now you can do this when uh, before your wallet has even synced, so you don't have to like wait for your wallet to sync. You can just do this when your when your wallet is syncing, and you can cash out at a later time. Now you see it will take a bit of time to request the work start, but once it has done, it will start hashing. And you can see that we're getting a respectable hash rate of 1.25. This is an average if your chip or pocket chip is currently in this state. But as soon as the chip upstairs, for example, turns off the screen and limits the power up even more by cutting off the screen as a timeout feature, it's still running in the background and the hash rate is actually much, much better. So once we go back to the website of Magipool, which is here, we can then click on uh, dashboard and this will show the current hash rate and as you can see we're getting uh, 1.64 hashes and that is what we are currently getting an average of and I'm unsure what any of this actually means but I thought it was a fun little experiment to try out and see if we could get this to work and as you can see it does work and it completes whatever it's completing which will hopefully get us some coin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my chip upstairs running for a few days I'm going to come back to it on that website and I'm going to see how much we've potentially earned and then go through the rigmarole of figuring out how much power we are using but currently I think the power usage on a chip 
even doing stuff like this is very very low so maybe after a week or two we probably use a kilowatt hour which is about 16 pence so as long as we make one coin in a week we should be okay if you enjoyed this video guys if you did and you found this helpful hit the like button if you didn't and you absolutely hated this video then hit the dislike button and please do subscribe for more i shall see you very soon cheers